Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Scorpios. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your general love reading. I hope all has been well, Scorpios. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves. Shout out to the beautiful soul family. Thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. I hope all has been well, Scorpios. No further ado, let's go ahead and dive into your general love reading for the month of November. And happy belated birthday to you all. I hope you all have had a wonderful solar return. All right. And I wish you all peace, love, and abundance, Scorpios. All right. So no further ado, let's dive in, Scorpios. Let's see about the person here that is on your mind. We're going to see what's going on in your love life. What do you need to know for the month of November and why? All right. So let's dive in. Let's see about the person here that's on your mind. Let's see what suggestions do your angels, your guardian angels have for you when it comes to your love life. All right. And some of you all, let's see what's next coming towards you for love. Wow, look, you definitely got someone new coming in here for love in the month of November. We have a new person has steered your romantic feelings, Scorpios. Well, 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 there is someone new here that you're going to find yourself connecting with. Some of y'all, you have already met this person, all right? Some of y'all, this is what you are suspecting here in the next couple of weeks, the next couple of days. The next couple of months however it plays out in your life okay we're all on different timelines here okay yeah and then at the bottom of the deck we have separation the time apart from your partner is on the horizon so some of y'all are literally separating yourself from someone that you no longer find yourself in a relationship with no more or just no longer resonating with you may feel like that this connection no longer serves you any purpose all right. And literally you're ending a relationship and going into a new relationship here. OK, some of y'all, it was very unexpected. You wasn't expecting to be meeting no one right now. OK, because you literally could have just walked out of a situation here where you are, you know, still trying to gather yourself, still trying to regenerate yourself, recuperate yourself, all of that good stuff. Right. And it's like someone out of the woodwork come out of nowhere in this energy of a new counterpart here okay wow so let's get into this scorpio let's get more insight about this person here okay tell me more about this new energy here let's clarify a new person has steered your romantic feelings scorpio Ooh. tell me more about this new person wow the seven of pentacles some of y'all, this person is ready to invest in you, okay? Already right off the bat. Some of y'all, this person could be an earth sign, Scorpios. This could be a Taurus, particularly here. Wow, what do you know? Your opposite zodiac sign here, okay? Or this could be a Capricorn for others of you all or a Virgo for some, okay? But this is someone, their type of personality or this person's in type of, in type of excuse me, intentions towards you is that they want to invest in you. They have a plan, Scorpio. So whoever this person here is that is attracted to you or maybe have been observing you, they definitely do have a plan that they want to put in place here when it comes to the connection here with you. This is someone that's just not looking to date. They're looking to be in a commitment, okay? Wow, Scorpios. Let's see what else about this person, about this energy here. Clarify the seven of pentacles here for the collective Scorpio placements. We have, wow, the queen of wands. Someone is very attracted to you, Scorpios. Okay, this could also be a fire sign for others of you all. This could be a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries. They definitely do want to take action towards you, Scorpios. Okay, wow. Wow. If it's definitely resonating for you right now, Scorpios, don't forget to smash that like button, loves. Oh, my goodness. I'm loving the energy check in here for you. The moon card. Yeah, some of y'all, you're not going to be expecting this with the moon card here. This may come off as a surprise to you. All right. And some of y'all, this person could be a cancer with the moon card here, or they could be a Pisces or a Scorpio like yourself. 
Let's see why do we have the moon card here. Why is the moon card coming out here? We know the moon card also talks about secrets, things that are being hidden. Okay. The eight of swords, air energy here. Some of y'all, there could be an air sign that is, you know, still secretly thinking about a situation between you two from the past. Okay. This could be Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. Some of you all, you may feel like, again, that the relationship that you just came up out of, and some of y'all could still be involved with this person. And you may or not wanting to kind of expose that information to this new energy that you're dating or talking to here. Okay, but some of y'all, you may still find yourself feeling stuck or you felt stuck with being involved with this person from your past. They kind of kept you limited to some things that you could be able to do or accomplish for yourself. You could still be kind of holding back your emotions and feelings because you were still trying to cope over a separation here from someone from your past here. All right. And some of you all, you may find this information being important to you because this is something that this person may expose or inform you of. Okay. Tell me more about the moon card and the eight of swords energy here, please. Tell me more about the moon card and the eight of swords energy. What else? We have the five of pentacles, earth energy here, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Yeah, this person feels left out in the cold. So I'm getting a mixture of, of course, as we can see, your new person or this new energy here that you will be engaging with. And then this person from the past. They feel a little bit abandoned, okay? They feel a little bit left out in the cold here. But at the end of the day, with all these swords surrounding by them, I'm sure they know why you have decided to move on from this connection, right? Yeah. The sun card at the bottom of the deck. Again, some of y'all, this person could be a Leo. We got strong Leo energy here and strong earth energy here towards Capricorn Virgo here, all right? So let's see what this person wants to say, all right? Let's see what are their feelings, emotions towards you, Scorpios. Let's see what the energies that are surrounding you. You have two different people that is coming out in your energy here today, okay? We have, they can't have you. Oh, shit. <coughs> Excuse me. It's going to be a battle here over you and this new person and this person from your past, okay? Your ex is like, oh, no, they cannot have you. Uh-uh. Oh my goodness, look at that. I can't help the way I feel. Wow. And this new person is like, shit, where well, I can't help the way I feel. I can't help the fact that Scorpio don't want to be with you anymore. Or I can't help the fact that I'm starting to gain these feelings for Scorpio. Listen, I miss your lips. This child, your ex here is going crazy. Wow, and as soon as I said that, look at that. This is driving me crazy. I cannot make this shit up. Wow. And then we have, I lied. And this is, a, I mean, that's the reason why that moon card is out, right? You had found out for some of y'all that this person was not being honest with you. They lied to you about the situation here. And this is why it's been difficult for you, I feel like, to trust this person here. Yeah, we have, I'm telling the truth. And this person knows that they have to be honest with you. They know that they have to tell the truth. And this other person is like, look, this new person is like, I don't got no problem being honest with you. I don't have anything to hide, okay? Baby, this is a battle within itself, okay, Scorpio? You clearly is going to have to decide what you want, okay? Wow, Scorpio, very interesting check in here for you for the month of... November, I definitely hope this has given you some type of clarity or even confirmation for what you may be intuitively or processing right now. I definitely hope this gives you more, you know, intake and guidance here on what to do. All right, definitely be sure to follow your intuition. And again, if you need more advice or, you know, more suggestions or what the best steps to take here or who to choose, okay, you're welcome to email me Scorpios to sign up or set up a personal reading. I am available for personal readings. You also have the opportunity to become a monthly client to help further assist you in the future for, you know, continuously having personal readings on a monthly basis. All right. And if you would love to be more of our Patreon family, where you also get the opportunity to get early access to my content, 
and also more opportunities, go ahead and sign up there to become a Patreon member. Thank you all so much, Scorpios. I definitely wish you and this person the best. And I look forward to seeing where this energy goes in the near future. All right. I love you, Scorpios. Bye-bye.